When your patient shows signs of an acute severe transfusion reaction, what should you do next? Normally, you will not immediately know what you're dealing with, so there are a couple of steps you should take in any case. First, stop the transfusion immediately and call for medical assistance. Then, assess your patient. Are they in a life-threatening situation? Check the ABCs first. Airway, breathing, circulation. If you don't find signs of circulation, you have to resuscitate. Start chest compressions immediately. If there are signs of circulation and breathing, check that the IV axis is patent, for example, by giving saline. And start monitoring body temperature, oxygen saturation, blood pressure, heart rate, and urinary output. Make a quick clinical assessment. Are there any symptoms you haven't noticed that could help you find the differential? Also check the blood component. Was it really meant for this patient? Compare the compatibility label on the product with the patient's ID. What does it look like? Is there any evidence of contamination, like discoloration of the RBC unit or bubbles in a platelet unit? If you already suspect a specific transfusion reaction, initiate further testing and start treating your patient. And don't forget to get in touch with the transfusion service. Tell them why your patient received the transfusion, what symptoms your patient shows, when the transfusion was started, and when the symptoms began to appear. The transfusion service will help you find the diagnosis and will help you determine what blood samples are needed for further investigations and what documents to fill out. And don't forget that your patient might still need transfusion after all. Discuss the situation with the transfusion service. They will certainly help you make a decision about how to best continue transfusing your patient. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.